Hi everybody, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost and I wanted to show you guys some things that I have collected along the way that you may find of interest. Um, often I have people asking me where I get my field guides and things like that and what are some good field guides to get. And uh, so I have been amassing this little collection and I thought, okay, next time I get a decent collection I am going to show you guys. So um, this is how I do it. Uh, there's no real uh, fancy technology here. Uh, I generally use either, if I don't find them at thrift stores, well, so once in a while I'll come across a really cool field guide and a, at a thrift store and I will grab it because they're really good deals at thrift stores. Um, my second uh, choice to get them, online used bookstores. For example, um, betterworldbooks.com, abebooks.com, that's A-B as in boy, E, books.com, and thriftbooks. Dot com. And uh, those are the three primary ones I use, but there are many others out there. If you know of any others that are good ones, please let us know in the comments down below. That would be awesome. And uh, let me just back up. Let me just show you the big panorama here. Excuse the messy desk, but this is just a pile of books I wanted to show you. And uh, <laughs> hemorrhoids. <laughs> Isn't that cute? That was funny how that's there. No, nope, no, nope, there's a cut shark thing on this side. Um, okay, so... Um, <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I use some online bookstores and I also use eBay. Sometimes you'll find lots of uh, uh, field guides that you can buy in collections, which can bring the price down and they save on shipping when they ship them to you because they're books. So that you, sometimes the shipping is not as expensive or you can negotiate with the people who are selling them like, hey, can I offer you a little less? You know, it's always worth a shot asking. The worst they can say is no, and then you just, you know, decide whether you want to pay regular price or not. But uh, yeah, sometimes you will find uh, lots or collections of field guides and you can get a good deal on them. So one of my favorite ones that I love to use is this Wildflowers book of Britain and Northern, you know, let me focus it so you can actually see, Britain and Northern Europe. Here's the side. Do it to do. Here's the important stuff. Richard Fitter, Alistair Fitter, and Marjorie Blamey. That's right. So when you're looking for it, you know exactly how to find it. But it has a... Uh, well, I'm too close now. Hang on. Let me get organized. All right. So much stuff on my desk. Okay. Back out. Okay. Here we go. I'll just give you a little flip through here. It has... Uh, I, I pulled out a lot of stuff already, but it has very pretty images of flowers. They're a nice size for journals. Um, just and also they can give you ideas if you want to draw flowers you know you can draw your own flowers and things like that um or you know you can uh, uh just have fun with the book and do fun things with it so if you are a field guide aficionado or you just want to play with the pretty flower pictures this might be your ticket so this is a good one um it has a lot in it i have pulled a lot out of this already i don't know if you can see but there's like big sections of it missing because i yanked stuff out and that goes there. Now, um, here's another one. This is called the, well, let me back up a little. Okay. The, uh, all the birds of North America. Um, let's see who made this. Oh, it looks like it came from a library at some point. This is the American Bird Conservancy Field Guide. Uh, it sounds very official. Uh, by, okay, this is by who? Concept and Design by Jack Griggs, Harper, Harper Perennial. All right, let's take a peek in here and see what we did. Sometimes when you buy online books, it's hit or miss. Oh, that's cool, isn't it? Yeah, that's really cool. Um, I personally prefer illustrations over photographs, but I'm not against photographs. And you can knock the shine off of photographs with clear gesso uh, if you don't want shiny in your, in your uh, thing. Some of these are illustrations, it looks like. And we have a mix in this one. And I'm just going to give you a quick flip through, but basically there's lots of birdies in here. So this would be a good one. Lots of your common birdies, which are very cute. Look how cute they are. That's so cute. All right. Possibilities, right? All sorts of possibilities. Okay. So that is one. Okay. That's what it looks like. All right. If you're looking for that one and, um, okay, I'm going to put them on the floor if we've already looked at them. And, uh, okay, so yeah, I would say your cheapest places are your garage sales, your estate sales, your flea markets, and your thrift shops. 
they're kind of like the gateway entry portal. Then when you go to the online stores, if you're buying used, that's the next, or, and probably eBay and the online stores are comparable in price depending, or you might even get a better deal on eBay if you find a lot or collection. Now, sometimes when I buy a lot or a collection, I will get not necessarily ones that I want in there, but there may be three or four that I want and I'll get a two, what I call um, duds. <laughs> now, um, but I have a little niece that might want to, uh, you know, explore her bug collection and she might have fun with this so i will just uh give this to her because i'm not you know that much into bugs myself i mean I, you know let's face it a butterfly is a bug so i guess i'm into butterflies but uh you know i'm bug selective yeah dragonflies i like they're cool yep um okay trees trees now that could have something now this looks like maybe a child's experimental book maybe something you found in a museum we can learn about the different things. So there are certainly uh, very nice images in here that can be incorporated into journals. Okay. So that's why oh, I didn't give you the details. Okay, here we go. And anyway, I just wanted to show you what, uh, here we go, what I was um, coming across as I was out there in the world looking for uh, field guides. And here's one with rocks and crystals. That could be kind of cool, right? Yeah, another kind of uh, maybe for a teenager or not teen, maybe like a 10 year old or something like that to exploring. But hey, you know, you got to bring out your inner 10 year old and have some fun. Um, eyewitness explorers, rocks and minerals. OK, there we go. OK, so these books are out there. The seashore, this probably this is my like my dud pile where I would normally not draw from these. Probably going to give all of these to my uh, my little uh, niece. I think she would like these seahorses and horses um, and you could do a horse journal that would be cool uh, but you know how many horse journals am I going to do not this many okay so I will pass this along to the universe uh, but then ones that I did find interesting and not all of them are field guys some of them are actual books like this one the wildflowers and flora um, let's see if I can find out who this is by okay there we go Mick Lavelle Yes. And uh, it has beautiful il illustrations in it. Um, just lovely. Um, they're a little bigger, but you can, you know, they're not too big to put on a journal page, something like that. Um, you know, obviously you want to check all copyright issues and everything like that. Do everything legally. And if you're just making it for yourself, everything should be fine. Don't photocopy any of this stuff and put it in your journals. That'll be a problem. But there's so many different copyright rules here and there and everywhere. You have to, it depends where you live and, and you know, what the restrictions are. But if you're just making journals for yourself and you want to use the pretty pictures in your journals from a book you bought, I'm pretty sure it's okay to just go ahead and do that. Um, all right. So here is another one that has some pretty flower images in it. Okay, now let's see who's this. This is, see, who knew the Rocky Mountains would have such pretty little flowers in it. Okay, it's a Golden Regional Guide by Golden Press. Okay, got that? All right, so yeah, um, you just never know where you're going to find these really cool things, you know, so keep your peepers open. Here's one on a uh, field guide to sh trees and shrubs by George Pedrides. Pedrides? Okay. Now let's see. Okay. So this is really pure. Um, this is just like pencil, not pencil drawing, but just basic uh, anatomical drawing of leaves and things like that. But they can also be useful. Not full of, not my favorite, obviously not much in here. Um, so I would, you know, kind of more up along the deadline. Maybe don't get this one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Aquatic insects and their l imitations. Okay. Well, who knew? More bugs. Okay. So this is a black and white. Um, this looks like something people are fishing with um, and some creepy looking bugs again, but maybe some nice wings and things like that. Okay. So you could incorporate certain things in your designs. I mean, he's not that bad looking, right? Hey, could pass for a pseudo dragonfly maybe. All right. Maybe not the greatest book, but like I said, when you don't have them in your hand and you can't do the flip through, the flip through is really great. If you get the, it's in your hand and you're in the thrift store and you're going through and you're, you're looking at it like, oh my God, yeah, I got to have this one. No, this is another dud. Don't even look at that one. Um, 
that's the best way because then you can really see what kind of images am I working with? Do I have pretty images? Do I have a lot of images? Is it mostly images? Is it photographs? Is it shiny paper? Is it flat matte paper? What have I got? What have I got? Okay, this is National Audubon Society. Pocket Guide Butterflies. Yeah. Okay. All right. And then flowers. Yeah, a little flower guide. Golden Guide to Flowers. Let's see. Does it have a... It's by the Golden Press. Here's maybe the author or the publisher zim martin okay um okay let's see if I have any more identifying information okay here's some information okay and uh, let's take a little peek see i think this one had nice ones yeah these are pretty little flowers in here who doesn't like a little flower book right yeah so they're just beautiful and the little descriptions below are interesting as well. So, you know, let your imagination run wild. You can have a lot of fun with books like uh, these. And, oh, we don't want sharks. No, I was going to give that to my little niece or something or nephew. Okay. All right. So uh, those are the field guides. Let me just make sure there's nothing else over here that I wanted to show you. Oh, here's some of the ones I... Oh, wait, I've got a few more. Hang on. Uh, all right, hang on. Uh, all right, did I? Oh, look at this. I didn't rip all the covers off. I got this one. How about that? Western Birds. Yes, by Roger Tory Peterson. Okay, let's see, Roger Tory Peterson, what you have to offer. Okay, this looks like a lot, a big text block. Maybe some black and whites. Not too many, but I see something in color coming. Crossing fingers. Okay, so we have some black and white images of many birds. Now, oh, a few colors. They tossed in a few colors. Okay. And then back to black and white. A few colors. A few colors. Black, you know. Oh, a lot, a lot of the common birds. They're cute. They're always cute. Um, oh, that very pretty colorful page there. And a lot of little birdies to pick from. Oh, look at the little pinky page. That's really pretty. Yeah, I like that. Oh, uh, and the blue page. Very nice. Yeah, so cute. And then we go back to it like a big text block again. So that's the way they are sometimes. Sometimes they're full of pictures from front to back, and sometimes you get a lot of text. But you don't know until you look inside. Okay, here we have Reptiles and Amphibians uh, by Robert Stebbins. Not a... Uh, this is a Peterson field guide. They make a lot of field guides. And I think this is going to be a lot of text. And then we have the pictures in the middle. A little salamander every once in a while. Might be cute. Oh, frogs. Hey. I'm not, I'm not, I like frogs. Um, so frogs might have a possibility to show up every now and then in a nice woodland journal. Uh, maybe turtles in a woodland journal. That would be very nice too. Um, you know, then we get into the unusual creatures. You know, I don't know. We'll, we'll just have to see chameleons and things like that. They could show up. Uh, and Oh, snakes. No, no thanks. <laughs> I'll just skip that part. Woo-wee, we going past the snakes. Don't like that. Okay. And then we have Eastern Birds, and this is another Peterson Field Guide. Now this one has some black and whites in the beginning. Okay. Then we have some color, color birdies. Okay. Swans and geese and all sorts of things. Oh, can you see? Let me put you closer. All right, that's better. Let me get the shine. Okay. Um, but let me just kind of flip through so you can get an idea of how much, um, how many pictures you get. Oh, you're too close. Sorry. Oh, no, oh, I'm all over the place now. Oh, hang on. We're, we're all going to get seasick for two seconds. Okay, there, we're back. Okay. Um, pelicans, seagulls, herons, oyster catchers. Oyster catchers. Huh. Haven't seen one of those in a while. Um, plovers. I love the plovers. Sandpipers. I see a lot of those around here. Uh, all right. Oh, oh, I just saw pretty bluebirds. How about magpies? Oh, there. Thrushes. They're really pretty. Love, love, love me a good thrush. Yep. Mm hmm. So cute. So this one actually has a lot of pictures in it. So you can't necessarily go by the brand. Like the one Peterson was a lot of text. This Peterson has lots of images. So. 
you know, that's the way it goes with field guides sometimes. So wait, let's see what else I have. All right, start digging, Sally. Pull it all out. All right, here we go. Okay, so now here are some that I have removed from their housing. So this is not going to be helpful for anybody other than just to see the pictures of different things that you can find in field guides. This one had was of flowers, I believe, um, of somewhere, you know, and it was just full of beautiful images. And, uh, and then there was a tree one I had that had trees and all the different leaves of the trees and things like that. And there were tons of... Um, pictures in it. It was really cool and I wish I could remember which one it was because I, I don't I don't remember. But so kind of it's kind of a hit or miss thing. But anyway, those are the sources that I, I get my stuff from. And um, yeah, it's it's just fun to explore and see what you can find out there. So have fun in your explorations and just know that there are treasures to be found and they're waiting for you, uh, waiting to be discovered by you and uh, uh, just have you know, fun creating with reckless abandon with them. And uh, remember, it's only paper and fun can be simple. And all my links to everything are down below to my uh, Amazon store, which houses my favorite tools and supplies, my Etsy store, which houses my vintage digital kits for you guys, uh, my newsletter, which is monthly emailed newsletter. It's free. It um, You get a free digital image with that and a checklist of uh, bookmaking supplies along with a note from the bookmaker. My videos come out Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, 10 a.m. or 10 a.m., 7 a.m. Eastern time. My podcasts, which are junk journal related information uh, and chit chat, come out uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays and they're free to listen to. My playlists are all listed down below and at the end. So if you want to look at categories of topics like how to construct a junk journal or um, how to uh, think, you know, pretty ways to make the pages, page layout designs, um, you know, or looking at junk journal flip throughs, completed junk journals, things like that. You can find those down below or at the end or on my uh, homepage for my channel. And also you can find me on Instagram, Pinterest, Etsy, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Facebook and Facebook group. And um, thank you so much to those of you who are, are leaving these very, very kind reviews on Etsy. Um, I really, really appreciate that. And that really, really helps me a lot. And I just want to truly say thank you because I know it takes t extra time and effort to do that. And um, Thank you for that. I really appreciate it. And uh, that's pretty much it. So if you found value here, please like, subscribe, and share, and hit the notification bell to um, find out about all the videos that come out. And create with reckless abandon. I'll see you next time. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.